Guys, welcome back to damn, that was a little loud. Guys, welcome back to the Garden Podcast. It is Friday, the day after March 23rd. And y'all already know what happened March 23rd, man. If y'all are not on the internet, y'all probably don't know, but it's it's everywhere, man. I'm here with my main man. No introductions needed. What's up, man? What up, what up, what up? Thank you for having me. I'll be on the Garden Podcast, the best podcast in the world. The best podcast in the world. I got to come up with something to say. It'll chill, come. It'll, it'll come. come. It'll, it'll come, come when it comes. Guys, Um, I hope everybody's doing great today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to get back in the gym. And it's only a day after. You know? Um, shit. I don't know what else to say. Dude. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I ain't going to lie, like, I'm I'm a little worn out as far as, like, this is as, like, the most promotion that we've done mm-hmm. for any of my fights before, you know what I'm saying? Um, We were out and about, we were doing, putting in work and uh, sponsoring our brand, ourself and everything. And I'm a little bit like, okay, I'm kind of, I need mm-hmm. to relax a little bit. I Honestly, I feel like I should probably get off social media for at least like a week, you know? Because yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, I need to I need to relax. I need to not look at a screen for a good week. Well, I can only, I can only imagine. You know how much work we put into this, man. We, we put so much work into this fight. Like you said, walking around and fucking getting these sponsors, getting, selling these tickets. There's a balance between like, being on social media and promoting and being on social media and like fucking around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I feel like it's easy to fall into that shit. Exactly. Like especially when you're trying to promote and like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't get lost in it um as far as like it, it's work, man. And that's what yeah. people some people don't understand. Um they think it's all fun and games. I think it's like you can't be chasing clout, I feel like. At least not for me. Like that's not our brand. Our brand is not like, oh, let's just get, let's just do like the craziest things and get views, which is good for some brands. But for me, for us, I feel like it's like we're real and that's what we want. We want people to follow us for our realness and not for just like, I don't know, for trying to portray something that we're not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Because there's so many ways that you can get views, but our thing is like, we're telling a story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. telling who we are, where we come from and... uh we're slowly getting up there, you know, fight by fight, event by event, and uh, everything in due time. The story gets, people love to see that shit however they want to see it, you know what I mean? There's yeah. always, there's always, yeah. But the people that are that are watching it like live really see the work we put into it. Exactly. Yeah. I, um, damn man, first round knockout, if y'all guys don't know, first round knockout last night, March 23rd, Hulu put on a fucking show. That's what we do. That's what we do. We come out here. Um, that's a whole, you know. So I think about it, and I'm like, um, I try to think about it. And I'm like, I need to, I need to set some. I need to work. That's something I I feel like as in my training, I need to work on. Where it's like I'm exciting, people see that I'm exciting, but I also need to work on my composure as far as my fighting. But that comes over time. Um, but overall, it's like I I. When I get up there, I'm like, I, it, this can't be boring. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I love being exciting. That's just who I am. But obviously, as we go up in the ranks, um, I also have to stay very. I have to be more composed up there, you know. But that's that's just me showing. Like, I, I'm like I said before. Like, I'm my biggest critic. Yeah. Out of anybody, um, I look at I I pick point everything that I do, and I'm like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Like, I have to get better. I have to get better. I just have to, you know. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't know if it's like <laughs> y'all gonna tell me I'm biased, which I probably am, since since you're my brother. But um, like, there's no other fighter that I've seen live that I'm like I'm fucking excited for this shit, or that bring out the energy like we bring out the energy. Yeah, especially you. Like I tell everybody, I'm like, yeah, you know Hulu, you know Hulu, you know Hulu, but do you you haven't seen Notorious? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So everybody who came out. Like you've you've heard it before. They're like, damn, you don't even look like you up there. It's like, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. people that that see us on a day to day and this and exactly. that. They they just see you for Julio, 
But uh, what do what brings out that notorious? What what changes in there? Because you know I've competed before in the amateurs, but you're a professional level. Yeah. Like what? How does it feel, dude? I can only imagine. I've only been corner man to you, which is a blessing to say. But you tell us how that feels, man. Well, yeah. I mean, first and foremost, I appreciate my you. As far as like you, my dad, our dad. You know, this is a family business. And that's how I love it. That's how I think God has put it into place for us. You know, I don't I don't think it's just out of the blue, like it just happened to be that way. I think God has a purpose for everything. And um man, it's a blessing. You know, some people might say, Oh, you're even myself, I might be like, Oh, this is only the beginning. But it's like, man, this is so much to me. If anything ever happened as far as like um, you know, I'm not saying I'm not trying to put any bad energy out there, but Whatever happens, you know what I'm saying? Life life is life. It's like, man, so far it's been a ride. And, um, you know, you got to celebrate everything, the small victories and everything. But um, as far as, like, what you said, shit, I kind of forgot the question. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I don't even, uh, I think I was just talking about, like, how it feels to me in the professional aspect of boxing. Well, yeah. I mean, like in a professional ring, like oh no yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember what you said now. Cause, like, cause, what makes the difference between who I am out here and who yeah, I am in there? And and you know, let's start there. Yeah, what do you think? What what changes? It, it, it's funny because, like you said, yeah, like out here, I'm just I'm Julio. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm actually, I don't know, I don't know if people see the difference when they see me online. They're like, well, I mean, I see some comments where they say, hey, don't talk too much, da da da, this and that, and I'm just like, man, my whole thing is like, this is this is. This is not just boxing. This is not just fighting. This is a show. I am, uh, 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 you know, I am an event. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, I had to get the people excited. This is what we do. So um, it's not a character. It's just like kind of something that just burns inside of me, and it's just kind of like I had to put on a, a performance and, and get the people excited. That's what it is, man. I'm a performer. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and down here, you know, I'm just like. Uh, when I come down from the ring, I'm just like, hey, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? It's not even like, it's not even like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to be shy or nothing like that. Sometimes, I, a lot of times, I tell people I'm just shy, man. That's just who I am. I've always been quiet in school. I've always been the lonely kid. Don't talk much. You know what I'm saying? If I don't, if somebody doesn't talk to me, I don't. I try to get better at it now, <laughs> where it's like I try to make conversation, but most of the time, it's just. I just can't like I'm just like I'm I'm quiet, you know what I'm saying? I think I, don't, I think you don't give yourself enough credit sometimes. Like, I don't know. I'm just I'm just yeah. hard on myself a lot. I think, I think but but you know that the you know yeah, that the best, yeah. man. You know yeah. you you guys you got you grew up with me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You see that I'm always in my head and, and sometimes that could work for me and most of the time it could work against me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um you know, I'm I'm in my head a lot. Um you know, like certain sayings go sometimes you can be your worst enemy, not anybody else, like your mental state, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I feel like that has progressed over time from when I started. Dude, De I, can't even, I can't even tell you how many times I've given up on myself mentally. Yeah. And um, that's why I'm so proud of myself. So a lot of times, you know, we don't like to, we don't like to give ourselves credit for how far we've gone, you know, because from where I've gone mentally, you know what I'm saying? It's so much different to where I'm at now. Now Absolutely. it's like, man, when like you said, when I turn over to Notorious, mm -hmm. I'm up there. I'm like, you got to kill me to get me out of here. Mm -hmm. I can fall 10 times. I'm getting up 11. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's just like, it's like, I'm not, I'm I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. <laughs> and that's, that's, I mean, that's just my whole thing, man. Like, like, I love that. I love that. Who doesn't love like a Rocky? You, you know? Bro, you guys were watching Rocky last night? Yeah, we were watching Rocky a little bit, a little bit. I was kind of in and out of it. I just kind of was like, I was trying to go to sleep, but every time I'm out there fighting, I can't fall asleep. Dude, the whole, I'm not going to lie to you, the whole event, right now I'm on like a bunch of fucking meds, but the whole event, I was sick, bro. My head was hurting everything, yeah. and I was trying to stay composed because I'm like, this is Julio's night. I'm like, this is, I'm like, because you know me, dude, I got to get to work when I'm there. Yeah, I'm absolutely. working, I'm always doing something, and going back to just being a... a Everybody has their place in the team. I'm so happy where we are right now. Like, yeah. in the sense of, like, how we're we're put in these positions. Gilbert helps out with this thing. I help out with that. And right. I feel like that's helping us get to the next level. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? People don't see the behind the scenes. But like you said, man, it wasn't it, – it, 
it didn't it nothing comes overnight. You've been working at getting better on the mic. You've been working on getting better physically. You've been working on getting better, you know, talking to people and this and that. Because at the end of the day, people come to see you sometimes like they don't even like boxing, but they're like, oh, but that's my boy Julio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then when they see the notorious, they fall in love with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I, man, I was. But, but see, that's also why I'm very thankful to have you in my life because it's just like whenever I, I, I'm not the most talkative I got my boy right here, you know, mm-hmm. my manager, you know, my assistant trainer, uh, my assistant coach, yeah. you know, he, you're, you're out there putting in work for me, you know, yeah. you're out there doing the communication and stuff like that, that sometimes, I mean, that that's the role you have to play, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's part and, of the uh, team. Part of the team. Yeah. And then I, I had to focus on the training, getting better. And like we said, man, like, um, I see it for what it is. I don't, I don't BS nothing. And I'm not like, oh... I'm on all the way up here. No, man, we're, yes, we celebrate our victories, but we're still down here. There's still so much more to go. There's still, man, we're not even, like, picking at the ice. You know what I'm saying? We're still at the bottom, at the bottom. And that's not discrediting anything that we're at, you know, or that we've done. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just that, that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. I have to be truthful with myself and be like, the people who get excited, I love it. I love it. I love the fans. I love everybody who supports us. Man, y'all have not seen anything yet. This is this is not even the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and say what you want about whatever. Oh, you're not. Um, you don't got the pretty record. You don't got this and that. I don't care. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I listen to that, and it motivates me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, okay, just watch me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're at this age, and you still certain so and so have uh by this age have done this and that. Okay, I mean let that. Let that um whoever says something like that, let that unmotivate you and keep you where you're at. For me, I'm like, okay, then I gotta work harder to get to where because man, these young bucks and everything, they're coming in strong. Yeah. So I have to work even more to even get on their level. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me being like competitive and being like, nah, it's not good enough. Like mm-hmm. I was saying earlier, you know? Yeah. So Yeah. That um dude. The whole record thing. Everybody got questions about that shit. I'm sure everybody. You hear it all the time. What's your record? What's your record? Mm-hmm, this yeah. and that, right? What do you? What? What is your response every time somebody says that? Because I know we we always kind of talk about it here and there. You know, we took a different route when we first started this, but all of that turned you into the dude you are today. Well, people gotta understand when I when they ask me when did you start boxing, I always say I've been boxing since I was little, which is true. I've been at the art of boxing since I was little. You know what I'm saying? And you know this. Always running, always doing mitt work, hitting the bags and stuff like that. But it's not the same as competing. I didn't start competing till I was like 19. Two amateur fights and then I was straight to the pros. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and for those that don't know, at least in the United States, to be an amateur or at least a decorative amateur Dude, people say boxing is a polar man sport. Yeah, go look at the price of gloves. Go look at the price for uh, boxing trunks. Go look at the price yeah. for new mitts. Go look at a headgear. Uh, uh, if your dad's not your trainer, go look at the price for a coach. A, a coach driving to the gym. Go look at the price of a gym. Yeah, man, come on. You know what I'm saying? Then, then come back to me and tell me if it's a poor man sport now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially the amateurs, bro. There's so many. There's so many amateurs. I'm like, damn, like. <laughs> the amateur yeah and so we so were never, we were never for the am- well we never well I, I feel like okay so there's a lot to that you know what i'm saying as mm-hmm. you know that i don't want to get into really uh but let's just say i didn't have a, a amateur record and i think that obviously like anything else it's inexperience that i had to learn with those first couple of fights that i've done you know what i'm saying that I got that dog in me, I got that dog in me. I don't have, I don't care what nobody says. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I, I ain't never, I, I don't shy away from adversity. You know, mm-hmm. um, but at certain points in in the boxing game, you know what I'm saying? That's not enough. You have to take. There's business moves and this and that that we have learned along the way. Absolutely. You and me. Yeah. But as far as the amateur record, you know, we moved around a lot. Like I said, it's not a poor man's sport. That was a like, big thing. Like people say. Yeah, and, and we moved around so much that was when we were younger. Thing, yeah, so uh, everywhere we went, you know, our dad always put up boxing equipment and all that stuff. But 
man, how how as a kid, if your dad doesn't know how to get you amateur events or like he doesn't, he's too busy working. How am I gonna get into amateur events? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How am I supposed to compete? And then um, I I, I just. But the dream has always been there. The dream is always there, which is the craziest thing because yeah. the dream is what's gotten us here. Exactly. Right? Because it, it was always just, and like you said, we didn't know how to do this. We didn't know how to do that. We figured it out, and the dream has pushed it the whole way. Exactly. It's funny because we never had a living room growing up for the fucking longest yeah, time. Seriously. It was either somebody living in the living room, like a, a, a room, yeah. or a fucking gym, a little gym in the backyard yeah. or in the fucking living room. And I remember our mom used to <laughs> Used to be, she always used to want to have a, a living room, and uh, luckily now we got a living room. We now got we the got garage. There you, know? you go. So little steps, little steps, everybody. Um, now we need a garage. We never. Now we don't have a garage. <laughs> now we don't have a garage, and yeah. I've always wanted a garage, but yeah. I like the garage how it is right now. Yeah, yeah, man. I um, I had a good time last night though. I had a good time. I can't wait to hear what everybody has to say about last night. I'm waiting for that video to come out. Shout out AB Films. AB Films. They pulled up and... and Shout out Rhoda. 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 Yes, sir. We're going to tag them down below. Yeah. So if you guys want to check them out, man, that's that was a blessing to have They're people. They're masters at their craft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate those boys 100%. It's not a... Uh, you know, I don't know how people, when they meet somebody... How they feel, uh, like you automatically know when somebody's real, and those boys are real. Yeah. Like, like there's some people that we meet, and we, you know we're like, we're like, okay, man. Like you know we gotta keep our card mm-hmm. up. But when we meet real people, we know, like automatically, oh, okay, my boy's real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's things, characteristics that they have, that prove that to us. And man, I appreciate those boys. Shout out to them. Yeah, for real, man. For real. They, they Gomez team, Gomez 100%. team, Gomez team, and we're always looking to to add more people just the right way, dude. That's so it's it's hard to do that though sometimes when you want to grow a team, like you said, you got to find people with the same vibes, the same energy, the same, the same dream. But you know? sometimes I also feel like what the thing that we connect with is that same struggle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what makes us be like, gives us that energy where we're like. I feel that you've been through what we've been through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like somehow, and, and somehow, somehow you just feel yeah, it. You yeah. just feel it, and it's just like I was just like, and that way we're like, yeah, yeah, you, you know, like it's not, it's not, you're, you're our team. You feel me? Yo, how did it feel? Because I was watching it right there firsthand when you literally like after the fight, picture, picture, oh. picture, <laughs> picture. Because every event that we've been to that we've had. We, you know, you always get pictures taken, yeah. but this might have been the one where like there was a line, yeah, where like people were like picture, picture, and dude, hey, hey, it's hey. funny, it's funny because I ended up in a corner. I don't know where we were headed. Like we just didn't have a. We were I just think, like, I think let's, we let's were expecting out. it. We were like, let's go. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, let's go outside and and uh, I don't know where we were greet headed. the people. Yeah, greet the people. Dad, Dad wanted you to greet the people like heavy. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean that's the most important yeah. thing. Without them, I'm nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Without uh, without supporters, I'm just. A fighter. You know what I'm saying? Shout um, out to the supporters. Shout out to everybody who showed up to the fight, man. I love you guys. Um, Shout out to everybody who streamed the fight. I love you guys. And shout out to everybody who hates. I love you guys because you guys <laughs> also watch. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, man. Ain't nothing over here but love because when we're saying focus, tunnel vision, this only motivates us even more. But back to what you were saying as far as the pictures. The pictures. <laughs> um, man, I was like, I was like, you know, um. I'm not trying to sound like humble or anything like that. I'm like, man, or like discredit myself. But I'm just like, man. I just sometimes it gets to me when I'm just like, I can't believe it. Like I'm just like they're here for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, sometimes I'm just like I haven't done enough yet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I'm just like, but again, like I, we were saying earlier, I'm just being to, in my head so much yeah. that I'm just like, I can't believe in myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like I have to, and that only makes me. Like right, like I, I've been telling you since last night. I'm like, nah, dude. I'm going back to training. Yeah, I'm going back straight back to training. I, I need to get better. We need to sharpen this up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We need to do this. And but man, I love I love everybody who came out and supported. Like I said, and um, yeah, that was that was a good experience. That was a crazy experience. And, <laughs> and as far as, as long as people want to take pictures, anything, I'm all for it, man. Because like I said, um. They might not want it forever. I remember Trout said that when when he was gonna fight Canelo, and he had all the support mm-hmm. behind him, and he was like, he was like, I'll never, 
I will never say no to a picture because they might not want it forever. And I'm just like, that's that's 100 percent true. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta enjoy it while while it's happening, man. Exactly. You gotta be in the moment. Only you really understand how that feels. Obviously, being in the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling you yesterday though, or like just we just been talking about it. But hey. we've we're all in the spotlight, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I shine, like I said, you guys are gonna shine with me because we're and it's not even like you guys are behind. You guys are right beside me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't care what nobody says, you know what I'm saying? You guys are right beside me, and um, yeah, what were you saying? Oh, uh, I was I was really gonna talk about the. Uh, well, thank you for that. First of all, man, that's it's always been like that though, you know, a team. Exactly. And and the way we've always seen it is like, like you said, it's no one ahead or no one this side by side, baby. Side by side. Side by side, baby. Side by side. When I get a $100,000 check, I'm going to split that shit three way. Yeah. Four way. <laughs> five way. Yeah. We're all eating. We're breaking bread in nah, the damn. No cap. No cap. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Dude, I, sometimes, I, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I get emotional. Like, when I'm by myself, of course. Like, just yeah. thinking and being like, damn, I got the best fucking people around me. Like, I couldn't ask for nothing. Obviously, we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But, man, I'm forever grateful for this team, bro. Absolutely. For real. Um, no, but <laughs> I was talking about the fans, bro. They started getting aggressive last <laughs> night. <laughs> they started getting aggressive. I don't know if it was the alcohol or whatever. Now that I think about it, they, everybody was a little up and now. The wait, though, man. Everybody was waiting on that. For, Hulu should have been main event. Main if, event. If y'all don't know, we got pushed up to co-main event for certain reasons on the card. But, hey, next next time around, I'm sure there's no question they're going to have Hulu main, co-main or main. You know what I mean? I'm working on that, man. Exactly. I'm going to try to get you on main event status or co-main event status for the next one. Um, Because, man, we're going to bring three times. Hey, Almighty might be on the next card. Shout out to Almighty. Almighty might be. He's going to be on. When, when we get his fight settled in, we're going to get him on here too. see what he's thinking. <sighs> Dude, it's been a crazy ride, man. It's been a crazy ride. What, um, we had a Waffle House last night. Yeah. I was only, gonna, only way to celebrate, right? <laughs> we're trying to get that after party set up correctly. Yeah. Next time. N- next one. Next You're not time. much of a party dude, though. I'm but, not, but, 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 I mean, if they sponsoring, yee. I'm party. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Obviously, I don't, um, I don't drink or nothing like that. So I just be there. I, I just like the people to enjoy the, the night, vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're entertainers. So, like I was, we were actually talking about this earlier, where it's like I don't drink, you know, I don't smoke, I don't do none of that. Uh, we don't do none of that. Um, so. Like, but I love seeing my people come out and get, you know, say turn out mm-hmm. there. I would never tell them not to do nothing. I'm like, I'm like, man, y'all celebrate how y'all want to celebrate. Yeah. I got my job to do and y'all just enjoy the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just like, that's why I train so hard, man. I train so hard because I, I know the people come out to support and watch me. And I'm just like, man, y'all get, y'all get turned up, man. Dude, turn up. Even, let's yeah. party. Let's have a great time. And then the after party, let's have another great time. You know we what I'm saying? We got to set up that after party. Yeah. It was, this one was on a Thursday, so it was a little... I mean, hey, next time might be on a Thursday, too. We still going to set it up. Yeah, like we were... like, If people want to if people wanna come, they will come. They will come. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Regardless of the night, man. Regardless of what it is. And um, they, they will come. So, shout out to everybody. Dude, I... um. The the thing about doing having all our people out there and like me being in the corner and, and having to manage you and everything, it's it's so much that I feel like people don't see and they just have questions about, right? About how you feel leading up to fight day, how you feel with the weight cut and all this and that. How was your weight cut this time? How was everything leading up to this fight? How were you feeling? It's so weird because 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 if y'all weeks- don't know the fu- the the weight changed like a week the, before yeah and the opponent changed and the opponent yeah so um, the the opponent changed for a much more experienced guy and right. and he he came to fight he came to fight which was exciting to me yeah. cuz i was like i was like let's do it like i like i like let's 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 turn up you know what i'm saying let's mm-hmm. let's go put on the, a show for the people obviously like i'm going in there thinking i'm going to knock your ass out but you know what i'm saying let's put a show on for the people fight you know what I'm saying? Um, but for this training camp, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was a weather change or something. But three weeks before, I got sick. You know, I got a sinus infection. Messed me up for like a whole week. Mm-hmm. Then we trained and they said, okay, you're fine in Southpaw. 
Uh, like tall southpaw. Yeah, like three days before the fight, they were like, okay, and I was like, okay, okay, let's switch up the little, let's focus a little bit on this. And I that was the first time fighting a southpaw, uh, in the in a fight like that. Obviously not in sparring, but in a fight, in a professional fight. Um, so I was like, huh. Uh, I mean, I I didn't really think too much of it. And then, and then the week of the fight too, like two days before weigh-ins, I started feeling weird again. You know what I'm saying? Like, my throat started hurting and stuff like that. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Mm-hmm. But ain't nothing stopping us. I was like, I got too much, too many people pulling up for me. I got too much <laughs> responsibilities. I'm not not fighting. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Like I said. And so, um, I don't know. I don't know if that had anything to do with anything, but I'm just like, I got that fucking immune system's trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, man, why the hell I keep getting sick? Man? Dude, that no, should be I pissing mean, me off. I, like I said earlier, I've been sick this whole fucking week and I'm like, like but I, right now I have like a stuffy nose. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm like, fuck, I'm on meds right now. Yeah. I took them in the morning. I took like hella meds so I'm feeling okay but I know when I come down it's just gonna suck. Yeah. Um, Dude, not having the ceremonial way and sucked. Yeah, that's part of the hype. Um, that fucking sucked, man. We were, we were, we, I like that they split it up in the morning and the afternoon because you were able to rehydrate and all that. But I hate that it it got canceled just because it was like, damn, that would have been a great clip for the people to get hyped up. And right. obviously the face off with you and the opponents. Dude, for anybody who never faced off with someone, how intense is that shit? Because you're in there, like, you're staring at this motherfucker's eyes. Like, I'm going to rip your fucking head off type shit. Yeah, it's, it, it's actually pretty soothing because before... Like when you see your opponent, or you just see videos, or you just you imagine this different, you know what I'm saying, being. Excuse me, and um, but when you see him in person, you're like, oh, they're human, just like me. You're looking straight at you're looking at them straight in the eyes, and you're like, they're human, you know what I'm saying. And you size them up, you're like, oh, you're not that big, you know what I'm saying, or you're not that whatever. You're like, and, and, and that calms, at least for me, it calms me. But it also makes me like, let's go. It's go time. You know what I'm saying? And it excites me. So I, really I love the face off. Yeah, I know you do. And um, uh, it, yeah. And unfortunately, we didn't have one this time. But we'll get one next time. Yeah. Yeah, it was their first. But it was time. good. It was good that they had weighing at 10 a.m. Man, that was, it always sucks when you gotta wait till like two. Oh my god, or these promotion, these local promotions, man. No shout outs for y'all, man. <laughs> Only shout outs to South Pro Promotion that held this event, Channel 32. Shout outs to y'all. But all these other local promotions that I worked for, or I fought for, no shout outs for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all suck at these damn weigh-ins. I'm telling y'all right yeah. now. Yeah. These, how y'all going to tell me, oh, we're waiting on the commission, we're waiting on commission. Y'all say that the weigh-in is at um, a certain time, let's say 5 p.m., 3 p.m. the day before. We get there early. Commissions does not ready. They need to start. We don't weigh in till like six. People are yeah, like wait, yeah. like fighters are waiting around, dehydrated. Yeah. Man, y'all trash. For they those need to, you know what they need to do? They need to do some kind of like you got be like you guys come in at three and tell the commission to be there at two, just exactly. in case they're late. Like yeah, that's what I would do. A, hey, you know I'm working on something. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, cooking something up cooking this year. Something. I'm cooking. Let them cook. Let them cook. Gomez, right Gomez boxing promotions. That's something okay, I'm working okay, on right okay. now. I'm working on it, man. I'm excited for that shout shit. Shout out to Big Al. <sighs> Bro, I've got so much ideas for the future for us, man. As long as we stay consistent, keep working. When are you going back to the gym? Today or tomorrow? All in due time. You know what I'm saying? And um, today. Today? Yeah, I'm just going to go work out. I don't feel like staying home. What am I going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just going to do a couple push-ups, sit-ups. Shit hey, like yo, that. DN's been going crazy. A little bit. But <laughs> the, shout outs, the shout outs, the shout outs, the shout outs, the shout outs, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, uh, that I'm trying not to let none of that get to my head. Social media and all that. Social media, you yeah. know. what I'm saying, again, I appreciate everybody who repost, and um, but I also, okay, let's be honest. Like, I'm trying not to repost everything on my story because I don't know about <laughs> that y'all. Story gets long as shit. Yeah, I, I don't know about y'all, but I hate when there's a long, the story is too long. So I just be hiding people and be. 
com- like you know messaging them be like thank you so much i appreciate you guys you guys but are seen you, you guys, guys are seen, seen. i'm seeing appreciate y'all. yeah you guys. i appreciate yeah. you guys yeah. but i can't repost everything because then my story's gonna be so long <laughs> bro you had like what like 80 reposts or something like that something like that yeah, yeah they were shit was crazy yeah get we're handing you your phone because you don't have your phone normally when you're warming up in the back and shit yeah. bro they had us waiting if y'all didn't know man last night was supposed to be an eight fight show the eight fights were supposed to go on last night and um four fights I guess they missed weight or something. I don't know the exact details, but four fights got cut. The main event, the co-main event, and two undercard fights. And we ended up with four fights in total. So there was like hella wait time between the first fight, the second fight, and the third and fourth. Yeah. That sucked for us back there because we are like, when the fuck do we start hand- wrapping our hands if they're going to make us wait again and this and that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we, we made it, it work. Yeah, yeah we, we made, made it work. work. We, we kind of had the, we made it work with the time and. I don't know how everybody was feeling out there, but I'm sure everybody was nice and tipsy to, to enjoy the music at least. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, that shit was cool though. I love the whole bro. The walkout was crazy. Yeah, dude, that was oh, that was dude. cool. Yeah. I like that. I like that. They put you on a fucking stage, yeah. man. If y'all haven't seen that, I think the video is dropping today or tomorrow. This video should be dropping the day after the fight, hopefully. If I get around to editing that shit, <laughs> <laughs> that should be hard sometimes. But um. What now, bro? What's the plan for for this weekend? You going? You gonna? You going back to back to to work? Back to what do you got going on, man? What keeps you away from like? What gets your mind off the gym for a minute, or you want to keep your mind in the gym? Um, because you know, I, th- you know, I think I think that should be a balance. Because so, th- there's some fighters that after a fight they'll get away from the gym. Yeah, I I am gonna probably go on like a couple hikes and stuff like that. Probably. I was already thinking like Sunday I might get up really early and go watch the sunrise at Stone Mountain or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. that really calms me and I love, I love, and you know, they say be careful with getting comfortable with being lonely because that will get addicting. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And and that sounds pretty fun to me because I'm just like, <laughs> I like being alone sometimes and, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, just, he gets he gets tired of me, y'all. We see we see we see, we see, we see, me and Hula do everything fucking together. We need our space apart, but yeah, I'm, I'm not. We definitely do. Uh, yeah, we um, he does too. Like sometimes he disappears. Yeah. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. no, he's out there somewhere thinking. You know what I'm saying? Regrouping, doing some shit, and it's yeah. cool because that's just how it's supposed to be. You can't mm-hmm. with any relationship that you have, whether it's a brother or a whether it's a sibling or it's like a relationship with a significant other. You have to have your time apart. You know what I'm saying? Whether mm-hmm. it's with your father, your anything you yeah. have to have time alone and you have to know how to turn everything off and just be like i'm here i'm on earth mm-hmm. i'm me i'm now you know what i'm saying and that'll keep you grounded and um you know that's what i need bro we should go camping soon dude heck like yeah. next weekend soon dude yeah <laughs> i'm down i'm down actually yeah. you know that i bring it now that you bring it up yeah, let's, like let's camping, plan that because yeah, like, sure. the sooner the better then we knock that shit out the way yeah yeah because before we know we're back in training we're camp. back in training yeah and because it's it's scheduled you know what i'm saying yeah. so far no contract or nothing like that but the projected plan is may 25th that's what i heard so it's in the works right now it's in the works if everything looks right it's gonna happen right. you yeah. know but you know they say Sometimes plans don't go according to plan, but the plan will always be stay in the gym. Mm-hmm. Stay in the gym. I have to stay mm-hmm. in the gym. So if that even, even if that falls through, this is I gotta stay in the gym. You know what I'm saying? This year we're staying consistent, man. There's nothing holding us back. This I mean, is the, always this is the takeoff year, man. The takeoff yeah. year. Yeah. All those other years is just like we've been building, we've been building, and this year <laughs> we're taking off. I'm telling y'all that right now. We've been building. Our ship crashed. You know what I'm saying? Our ship crashed. A couple we've been time. repairing that. Okay, yeah, we've been repairing it. And this is takeoff year. Yeah. We're so. Saying, bro, there's so many people that used to follow, that unfollow, and that are following again. Yeah. Um, I see y'all. <laughs> yeah, for real. Nah, but it's cool, though, man. I don't yeah. care. I don't care if you unfollow or this and that. As long as you're following now, it's, I, we see everything. Like, literally, it's crazy because I don't feed into it, but on the Gomez Boxing page, I see everything. <laughs> Who's watching? Who's not watching? Even on your we page, we see y'all. <laughs> and um, but at the same time, we don't see y'all. Yeah, because we're not focused on that shit. Nah, it's cool though that everybody is supporting, man. I, my buddy yesterday was like, "Every fight, I'm here. Every <laughs> fight," and I was like, "Hell and yeah!" And that's and that's what I want people to feel like after one of my fights. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's why I always say, or we we 
every anybody who has came out says that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're like, man, what the? Because I, well, I'm not out there to be like these pretty fighters. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's not what we do. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get that style. It's a new era. And yeah, like it, it'll get you far. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be exciting. All the old school fight, at least for me, all the old school fighters. Sugar Ray Leonard has said it. He was the one of the prettiest. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, pause right quick. You know what I'm saying? But one of the, like I'm talking about like style, the prettiest style. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the most like boxer, boxer you could think of. And his thing was always you got to close the show, which I feel like today's boxers or whatever they don't like to close the show. They don't like yeah. to put. You know what I'm saying? They like to be. Not get hit, which is cool. Like I understand, don't get hit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you have to take risk. You know that what I'm Floyd saying? May, that Floyd Mayweather effect. Yeah, that everybody wants to kind of the the older Floyd Mayweather effect because man, if you see pretty pretty boy, pretty boy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That I I I study him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like I had to I had to watch this guy. This guy's a man. Even older Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Even older Floyd. Even him, bro. If you really analyze his fight, exactly him versus Cotto. Him versus, you know what I'm saying? Only, but he's smart because, like, let's say yeah. with Canelo, why would he bang it out with him? You know yeah. what I'm saying? He schooled the kid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, every, all in all, you know, they, they, he, he did what he did, and every, everybody's career is questionable, to be honest. Dude, like, like, like the great Costa model said, right? What did he say? He said, you got to learn to hit and not get hit and still be exciting. Exactly. Right? That's one thing that everybody listens to the hit and don't get hit. Yeah, but hit and don't get hit. still be, be exciting. exciting. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, that was a, that's like the beautiful way of putting it. Exactly. Because it's cool, don't get hit, this and that, but that shit. No, it, it's smart. You know what smart. I'm saying? It's smart. Yeah. I, I get it. And, but uh, but the, I have to, I, I myself, like I said, where, I, where we go back to criticizing myself, I myself see, I'm like, oh, no, I didn't like it because mm-hmm. I got hit one too many shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it was just one shot just that one hit shot, that yeah. hit me, I'm it's like, that's be- one too many. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. <clears throat> so let me just mix the exciting with the don't get hit part. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got the exciting down. Yeah, he exciting. No now, doubt. Now I need to do the, the don't, don't get, get hit. Yeah. Hit and don't get hit. So yeah, uh, we're working on it. Yeah, it's, nothing, it's, nothing, it's not like you get hit like crazy. Yeah. It's just... um. We're tweaking things up. Got a uh, different game plans and tag, man. We've been working on so much shit. Yeah. Dude, I'm so happy to be a part of like one on one coaching with you no more. Obviously we've always been training partners. We took I took a little break from it and yeah. I stepped away. But uh I feel like now's the time. God is putting us together. Yeah. In a different sense. We have been focused on other things last year, you know what I'm saying? I make no excuses for any outcomes of my fights, but you know, last year and the years before that, we have been a team, but we have not been a team team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, there's been parts where it's like, and it's not nobody's fault. No. We have to pay rent. We have to keep working or we don't have a, a roof to live under. We yeah. don't have food to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just like, but now, now, uh, now we're, we, we've got with a me, different, a different game plan coming. With me, with me especially. Coming. Yeah. With me especially, I've been very like fucking... You know, my head is here. My head is there. Like, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do and shit. Yeah. So, like, now, like, dude, I'm a thousand percent committed to being the coach, being the manager, being this and that. Exactly. Because, cause, hey, <laughs> when shit's not paying, that shit's hard to keep up that motivation sometimes. You know what I mean? Exactly. Especially when it comes to, like. But that's when the passion shines takes through. Yeah. And you've always had the passion. Yeah. You've always had the passion. I've always had but the like passion. like you said. But sometimes, you know, we're human and we yeah. just fucking... And like I said, it, it, the passion don't pay no bills. You know what I'm saying? So the passion... You know Say what I'm saying? Say that again. Passion don't pay no bills sometimes. So it, it's only it's only, it's only, only um so much you can do at that time. But I feel like God always brings us back where we're supposed to be. And this is the time. Um, The time is now. You can't go back in time. You can't go forward in time. You have to live in the now. So what we got right now, we have to work with. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So everything that happened in the past is experience. Everything that happened in the past makes us who we are. And now you must take a full advantage of where we're at right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, that's it, man. Like, no, no, no more than that. We just have to keep going and um, having faith in ourselves. Because, and individually too, mm-hmm. you have faith in yourself. Yeah. Because 
I'm not saying I will never have faith in you, but let's say even if I didn't believe in you. Yeah. I what, was, what drives you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Same yeah. thing with me. Yeah. When I if if I drop like, you know what I'm saying? If I get dropped or anything like that, your faith is not gonna pick me up. Exactly. And I'm not saying that out of like, you know, no negative way. No. But I'm gonna be in my head and my faith is gonna pick me up. You know what I'm saying? My desire, my why is gonna be the one to pick me up. So that's how you make a stronger team. Everybody has to have their faith and their why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like right now more than ever, everybody's got their why. Everybody's got yeah. their why. Yeah. And that makes us our whole team stronger. Strong. You know shit. what I'm saying? Cause yeah. then it's like nothing is tumbling you. No matter what happens to me or dad or anything, we're not tumbling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're stronger than ever. Same thing with me, same thing with my dad, same thing with my other brother, Almighty. So Almighty, man. Almighty. That boy does his social media stuff. That boy crazy on social boy, media. Hey, man, he got the ideas, though. Man. Nah, he does. Hey, that video last night, yeah. that fucking video was cool. I, at first, I was like, he was like, he was like, yo, I got the people ready. I go outside. I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't imagine it in my head. I did a little bit, but when we did it, that shit was... First of all, the way they were like playing that shit was dope as fuck. Shout and out them boys. Uh, what what are what are they what do they go by? Let me look it up. Yeah, look it up. We they're new. They're we, they kind of just partners up with like they kind of just reached out to to Almighty about a week or so ago or two weeks ago. Shout out El Pepe official. Yeah. Shout out to him, man, and and his boy that came out to to play. And his boy. Prize Selecto. Thank shout you out guys. to y'all, man. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for that video. We come like what we've always said, man. Anybody who's a part who wants to be a part of the team and, and you know, obviously we see fit that can help we can help each other. We go up, you guys go right there with us. You know what I'm saying? There's no ego here. No. There's no ego here. There's it, it, there's all love here, man. Like, like we want to shine together you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah we've learned so. we've learned the hard way of being too nice with certain exactly. shit but that's why we're real selective sometimes with, with per- people we bring on but when we do find people that we appreciate and really like are fucking like literally grateful as fuck for exactly. we're like we gotta keep we gotta make sure they're taking care of the best way we can take care of it right and um but that's in any business bro that's really in anything you do just keep stay genuine man because there's always gonna be those motherfuckers that wanna be grimy about shit. And trust me, pff, there's some grimy motherfuckers in the boxing business. That's yep. for sure. We're not gonna go- I think in any business, to be honest. Yeah. But the thing that makes it stand out more in this is that they're taking advantage of fighters and people. You know what I'm saying? Certain people, mm-hmm. and that's that's the grimy part about it. Yeah. Which I mean, in any business, they're taking care. They're taking advantage of of people that don't know no better sometimes you know mm-hmm. so they have to learn the hard way and in this in this game they learn a little bit harder than you know, oh yeah this game if this know? game if you're on the losing end like in the sense of like anything like yeah. money wise or this and that dude and this is like the highest of, the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows like they exactly. say so yeah man we've been at the we've been at the end of many many kind of quote-unquote failures and defeats but that's crafted us into working smarter, working around certain things, being adamant about what we need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, With that, I only want to say one thing. It's just people love a Rocky movie, but for some reason in real life, they don't <laughs> love a Rocky character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, especially on TikTok, man. TikTok be brutal, man. I don't read, especially on my on Almighty's uh, <laughs> TikTok I just be looking at the views and I'd be like, okay, it got good views. But I don't be reading those comments because they be brutal, man. Cause they I, I just think it's a um they're just looking they're just projecting their own insecurities to be Bro, honest. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck it is. Anymore. And and it's just uh, it's just I, that's that's honestly what I think it is. And I, I just want to say to all those people on TikTok that be saying those things. Believe in yourself, guys. Believe in yourself. Y'all can do it. I I swear to God, y'all can do it. Believe in yourself. Whatever you're in. Be the main character in your life for real, for real, and um, and that'll change your perspective on everything. You know, uh, don't be a. I mean, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it life gets easier when you stop hating 
and you start looking at things as motivation. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I see a Lamborghini drive by, I'm like, damn, that's a nice. Well, first of all, I'm, Lamborghinis don't even, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm trying to say. A nice car drive by. And I'm like, dang, that's a nice ass car. I don't say, damn, I'm about to go rob that motherfucker. Or, or damn, mm-hmm. what did he have to do to get that? Or blah, 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 this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I say, I say I'm say, i going to have that one day. Just like that guy got it. Who knows how he got it? But I'm going to find my way to get that. You know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. motivates me. If he can get it, I can get it. You know what I'm saying? Or how many times did he fail to get it? You know what I'm saying? Everybody had to go through some shit, bro. Some shit, man. We don't all see it. Like, dude, everybody sees, like, the the shining, you in the ring, this and that. But they don't know we've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. And, some there's, still so, and there's still so much to go through. Yeah. Still so much to go through. That's why I don't talk on it like I'm anywhere yeah. that uh, on top of this and that. I'm like, nah. But like we said, even, yeah. even when we get to the world titles, even when we get to those big Ooh, name fights, bro. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still going to. You know, I have I had to find that um that thing that makes me touch ground again and be like, You're human, man. You're human and, and um remember where we come from. Remember who we are. Yeah. You what do you saying? what do you normally do? Like, um, in the sense of like like you just said, the things that help you touch ground and this and that. I know camping is one of them. Is there I know you're dude, because I know you've are invested in the sport like a thousand percent. Just the whole um I don't know, just my, uh, I, I can't say too much because, like like I was just saying, we're not at, at the top, top level. Mm-hmm. But as far as, like, right now, like, right now I see all the love and stuff like that, but I keep reminding myself, I'm like, this. I'm, I'm not saying this is nothing, but I'm just saying, don't let this get to your head. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just, this only makes me want to be more focused and more disciplined. Mm-hmm. It makes me, tomorrow morning, I'm up again, 5 a.m., running, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It just like, drives you. It just drives me yeah, to be yeah. like... And, and and I've seen examples of like, we've all seen examples of these great fighters. Once they get to the top, they want to go and party. But you know me, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Yeah. I've never partied. People are like, "Oh, why doesn't he ever go out?" Oh, when I talk to people, "Oh, you don't go out?" No, I don't. <laughs> this never caught my attention. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm boring, man. I'm boring when it comes to that kind of stuff because I'm just like, I just been whether it's been this or what for whatever reason, I just. I guess I've just been lonely or I've just been the loner kid my whole life where it's just like man, I don't that I've never been invited so I never even got to experience it and I don't want to experience it. I that's want, the thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just like I I mean obviously like we like we were talking about if if their sponsor says, "Yo, let's turn Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to show up. We finna show out. Yeah. I'm not finna be drinking, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make sure my people are taken care of. Yo, let's get this, let's get that. Let's make sure that people are having a good time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But in the back of my head I'm thinking, don't get too comfortable in this state because there's these killers out here. As long as I'm in this game, there's killers out there. And there's new up-and-coming killers. And there's killers at the top. And there's, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what you have to keep in mind. That don't become comfortable no matter what. Because at any point in time, you get too comfortable, they come in for your head. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and that's for anybody. Hey, because... We heard a lot of stories about these fighters in these clubs, man. They love these clubs, man. We ain't gonna say no names, man. but we 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 listening, we watching, we know what's going on, man. That's why we stay focused. We're staying focused, yeah. man. Everybody at the fucking fight was asking me the whole night, "Where you get those shirts? Where you get this? Where you oh, get yeah. that?" Y'all man, like the baggy look or what, bro? These shirts are coming soon. Don't worry on that. We're drop shoulder. Drop shoulder. Oh, sh- what is it? Drop shoulder or shoulder drop? Drop shoulder. Drop shoulder. Drop, drop shoulder. shoulder yeah. tees. Guys, I don't know shit about apparel, but I know who the... We, we, it, it's like a... We're working on the merch. We're looking at getting somebody a part the of the team. It's in the works, guys, because it's hard to do everything, man. It's hard to do everything, and especially when you're trying to focus on one thing. We're, we're, we're working on getting somebody to help us with the merch and this and that so that you guys can enjoy it as much as <laughs> we're always fucking wearing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but it's gonna, it's coming soon. So the other week I asked the, on my Instagram to ask you some questions. Oh. From okay. the people, man. Okay. I got some questions for you from the people, bro. Let's see what they had to, let's see what they had to say. Okay. Um... Let me see if I can find it, because I was like, he was supposed to be on the podcast. Oh, here we go. Who? Oh, you. Me? A couple. Uh, all right, well, one of them was, where is the merch? <laughs> okay, where is the merch? It's coming soon. Sorry, coming, soon, coming, coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Hopefully. I had, I, okay, I had a website up, but I don't That's know. That's a lot. I couldn't, I couldn't run it by yeah. myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
yeah, I had to figure out a lot of things for the merch. I had to obviously we had to get somebody in in charge of that because I can't do it. I we were just talking about this earlier too. We. We were like, yeah, I can't do it. I have to focus on the training. And we're ambitious as fuck. We're always like, yeah, I feel like, like I, can, I can do it. Yeah, I can, I can do, do it. it. But, but it's like, like I, told, nah. I literally had to step in and be like, who the? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you're not, like, well, don't I think do I, this. Shit. The, the thing is, I find it fun sometimes, but then sometimes it's like, I can get, I get busy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just like, I don't want to have to be holding anybody up, like, yo, I ordered my merch like three weeks ago. Where is it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, for the merch that we had, Josh, man, thank you so much, everybody, for buying it. Yeah, like, it's, it's yeah, a fucking blessing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, okay, second question, right? We've got, I mean, I guess you kind of already answered this question, with respect. With respect, I guess he emphasized on saying that. Okay. Do you have any losses in your professional boxing career? Yes, I have two losses. And um, the first one was my professional debut, Um, and then the second one was the one before this fight. But I'll tell my story in time. Mm-hmm. Right now, I feel like it's... We're not there yet. You know what I'm saying? The question was answered. The question was answered. <laughs> and uh, yeah. oh, it will be re-answered in due time. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. This is a spicy one. Spicy. <laughs> is your brother still fighting Southpaw? Oh. <laughs> That's the question from the people. Because you know everybody fucking talking about Gilbert and that fight. So... Does Almighty fight Southpaw or Orthodox? I said <laughs> he <laughs> fights. Uh, fight? Almighty fights Orthodox. <laughs> next question. All right, next question. Where do you see Gomez boxing in the future? God willing, inshallah, at the top. You know what I'm saying? Always got to put that God willing because you can make plans, but God always has different plans for you. All we have to do is have faith in ourselves and God and everything and keep working hard. Obviously, we're striving to be at the top. But like I said, God sometimes has different plans and you just have to roll with them. But we're coming with everything, guys, and um, with faith in Diosito and La Virgen de Guadalupe. Hopefully, we can get there. Hell yeah, man. Gomez Boxing is more than just a boxing brand, everybody. Gomez Boxing is a is a lifestyle. It's about just continuing to strive, continue to do what you do, and yeah. um, just don't give up, man. The saying I got from my students when they come out and train with me is work hard, work together, and never give up. Exactly. And um, you could take that however the fuck you want. Keep doing it, man. And, and this is just a – we, Hulu, will be a representation of what we do. In the sense of that motto. And us, all of us. Because we're the whole work together. You know what I mean? Exactly. All right, next question. Next. What's the biggest lesson boxing has taught you? <sighs> biggest lesson. That's like a loaded ass question. The well, biggest lesson. Uh, the biggest lesson. Because it's taught you a lot of lessons, I'm sure. Dude, so many lessons that boxing has taught me. <laughs> These are good questions. The biggest lesson. <clears throat> all right, I'm going I'm to give a couple lessons that it's taught me. Because I, I can't think of just one. So let's say one, never overlook anybody. Whether that's an opponent, whether that's a situation. Most likely an opponent. You know what I'm saying? Never look overlook anybody no matter what they records or whatever. Two is as long as you train hard and everything, believe in your skills, you have that dog in you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, uh, this is a mental game, you know what I'm saying? Fighting is a mental game more than, oh, well, sometimes people say it's more of a mental game than it is a physical game, but I think it, it balances it together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, definitely physical. <laughs> definitely physical, but also mental. Yeah. Um, And just, we keep saying never give up, but honestly, that is one of the biggest things that's taught me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's taught me also how to block out any outside distractions as far as like comments and you know what I'm saying? Fucking people just hating and shit like that. It, it, it's become easier. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah. I don't even... I see people say stupid shit. I'm just like, okay. And I keep going with my day. You know what I'm saying? Before, it was it was pretty hard. Yeah. I'd be like... Shit will piss you off. Dude, like, it should piss is, me off, too. Shit. And then I'm just like... But eventually, I'm just like... I, I mean, it's just social media. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. pictures and... Like, they posted pictures of 
getting punched in the face. I mean, it's fighting. You get punched in the face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You keep going. Like, it is what it is. That That's another thing it taught me. It's just like, you're going to keep going. You're going to keep living. Yeah. No matter what, you're, you'll be all right. Yeah. Nobody really cares. You're too much in your head. It, it has only honestly taught me how to get out of my head for a little for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's taught me a lot, man. It's taught me so much. I feel like um, one of the things that I used to remember we used to talk about was like when someone would uh, lose or with someone. It was a we were what I was like. I think I was like 19 or 18, and we would we didn't have the experience that we had now yeah. so i would see things and i would be like um what was that i just had a different mindset or, or quick to call somebody a bum exactly quick to be like, like oh quick, they lost like oh yeah. quick to be like be like oh they suck yeah oh yeah. they lost oh what yeah nah. I ain't shit no but, more. but that's why sometimes when i see these comments i feel like oh they're just kid- they don't know any better even if they're yeah. older i'm like they don't know any better you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm like so i can't really hate on like unless they were facing these adversities and these and chasing their goals, then they will know better. Yeah. Because see me now, I see anybody lose and stuff like that. I'm just like, get back on it, man. You yeah. got this. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Instead exactly. of being instead of being like instead of being like, oh, he's a bum. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, get back on that. Man. Yeah. You got it. Like for yeah. real, for real. You got it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now obviously if it's a bad loss and I'm like, let's, let's let, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's you know what I'm saying? You can't be getting knocked out and being like, Oh, let's keep getting on it, keep getting knocked out. But yeah, like you were saying, it's like it's that when you're not experiencing certain things, you it's quick to judge. Mm-hmm. But once you become experienced, now I see everything in a whole different state. You know, it's easy to be like, like you see a singer or somebody come on and they get nervous and you're like, oh man, what the heck? Yeah, like, why are you nervous? And yeah, this? Why I'm, you like, nervous? I'm like, dude, have you ever yeah. performed in front of a crowd? Have you ever done this? You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta understand. Only when you're in front of when you're doing something like that. Do you understand the level it takes to get up there? <clears throat> the level it takes to be embarrassed in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that changes your whole outlook on everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It makes you more humbled in a way. It makes you more, you know what I'm saying, respect. You you respect others more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, that's uh, a big one. And, um, and I, I, that's also why I really like MMA and the UFC and stuff like that because I'm like, Man, these guys they have they have these fighters that have lost and stuff like that, but they still respect their fighters. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like I'm like they have lost and they're still respected. They're still called greats and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well in boxing we have greats who have lost as well. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason now it's in the era in boxing where it's like everybody wants to be undefeated. But I'm like, man, look at their records, bro. The first twenty people they fought were like mm-hmm. all in fives, one in tens. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like it's all a business part of it, which is understandable. You want to get paid and shit like that. Any, you know anybody saying? in the boxing business knows what's up. Yeah, so we'll talk about more of that later on. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Shout out to MMA and UFC, MMA fighters. I'm sorry, I was about to say UFC fighters, but yeah, that's right. MMA fighters. If you're in the MMA, you practice MMA. UFC fighters. Shout out to everybody. We're fighting fans, so we watch all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out oh. to Bruce Lee. Hey, shout out Bruce Lee right here on the table with us. Hey. Um, all right, hold on. Let me see if I got another question for you. This one, this one was already kind of answered, but uh, I'm gonna just ask it, just you know, for the people that let the questions. You know, okay. you can keep it nice and short, however you want to do it. All right. It's just how come you didn't have a bit more amateur fights before going pro? Um, yeah, that was kind of answered already. Yeah. We just traveled a lot, not traveled. We moved around a lot. Yeah. Oh, right. Excuse me. <coughs> Same time. Yeah. <laughs> we just moved around a lot. You know our. I'm sorry, I keep burping for some reason. You saw them pancakes. We had pancakes this morning. Yeah, we had. I had, Chila- chila- I had chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. <laughs> I haven't had that in a minute. They're all right. They're all right. But, uh, <laughs> but um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we moved around a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just to give you all perspective, when we moved from Mexico, we moved to Florida, Orlando. We stayed there. We moved around a lot in there. We moved to North Carolina, Charlotte. Shout out Charlotte. Moved around there. Man, I can't even tell you how many schools I went to. We traveled. We made a road trip all the way from North Carolina to Seattle. Made a road trip from Seattle all the way to Georgia, which is where we stay at now. And even here, we moved around a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all that moving, all that, uh, I say we're like nomads, just looking for the next, you know what I'm saying? 
Next way, my parents, our parents were always looking for the next way to survive for yeah. us. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to our parents because, man, it's, it's a care hard of us, work. Man. Yeah, sometimes we think about it. It's like, man, I don't even know how they did it. Three Bro, kids, how, how expensive how would that be? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, just moving around a lot. No funds for a lot of things. Like I said, boxing is not really a poor man's sport. I don't know where that came from because... <laughs> I really don't see it. You I know don't what I'm see saying? it either, man. Because it's really expensive. Like it's really expensive. You know what I'm saying? When you start doing the numbers, it's expensive. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah. I mean, that's why I didn't have un- only until I was able to start, f- in a way, funding my own career. Is that when I started actually being able to compete and stuff like that? You know, mm-hmm. because um, and, and figure out the business and all that stuff. Once we started working. Making- and like I said, I was older when I started. I did those two amateur fights. So I was like, man, let me, I'm going straight into the pros. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I said, that's a story for a whole different day. You We're going to get that story out there soon. We'll get that story yeah. out there soon. So. Once, once we get to the position where... We're going to make like a docu, a documentary like or that. some yeah. shit. I don't know. Some, it's going to be cool. Our story, yeah. We'll yeah. tell our story soon. But Maybe it'll be a movie or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, let me see. I got three more questions. Bro, these questions okay. are kind of good. I, yeah, I like these questions. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, these is un- most of these are kind of already answered. Okay. But, uh, like I said, just answering how you want. Let's I'm do just it. doing this for the fans. Thank you guys for everybody who left a question. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, Shout out to y'all. What keeps you motivated every day? Like I said, my family, myself. And, like, I was thinking, or Your not dog. thinking. <laughs> Meech. Meech. Shout out to Meech. Um... <coughs> Just the dream, man. It's just like the younger me. Like, I can't let him down. You know what I'm saying? And that shit gets me emotional. I ain't going to lie. Mm-hmm. When I think about it, because I'm just like, I just see myself as a younger me being like, yo, we're going to make it. You yeah, know what I mean? man. So, and just dreaming of those big stages. Bro, I get Honestly, it. Man, it's funny because the younger me, when I think about it, I'm like, he thought that shit was going to be easy, man. That shit is not easy. Bro, you know, you, you're a kid. You're a kid. You think you see these superstars and you're like, oh, like not easy, but it's just like, oh, I'm just going to be in a training montage. And yeah. all of a sudden I'm going to get there. You know what I'm saying? You see, like, I thought the same shit yeah. when we were, when we <laughs> yeah. were fucking training. But together. this is only going to make it sweeter because, man, when we get to, I try not to put too much emphasis on the when we get there because I never want to. Be like, oh, I'm here. I'm here, yeah. Because I'm like, here has been <coughs> this the whole time. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, here is now. The journey, baby. The journey. The, the journey. G- journey is sweeter than the arrival. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, uh, obviously, when I get a belt strapped around me, that's going to feel so, you know what I'm saying? But it's only going to make me have to work harder. The WVC bar is going to look clean. Let's fuck around your waist. I'm saying. Not only that one, but all of them, for real. But, uh, yeah, I think I answered that question, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Um, ooh. Do you ever doubt yourself? Kind of answered that a little bit, too, but. Yeah. If you want to answer that one, whatever you want. I have doubted. I have. Yeah, I do. The uh, Sometimes I do. I have <laughs> doubted myself. But it's crazy, because when I become notorious, when I wa- start walking out, all the doubts go out of my mind. And I said, mm-hmm. I'm going in here to win. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any doubt I ever had flies out, and I'm like, nah, I'm here to win. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out to my voice crack. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the last question. What's the toughest part? What's the toughest part about boxing? The toughest part, I feel like, is when the responsibility of just staying consistent and disciplined as you get older, I feel like. Because, you know, as you get older, that's why that's why I feel like the younger you are, take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you become older, you start having a girlfriend, or if you're a girl, a boyfriend, and you start all the parties on every weekend, and all oh, um, people are like, oh, you're supposed to be starting a family now, and all these responsibilities start to come into play. That makes it that only starts getting you further away from the sport when it, you have to be married to the sport, and mm-hmm. that's the hardest part for some people. And even for myself, sometimes you know, we like to think we're like, we're like, where are we supposed to be right now? Mm-hmm. But really, in reality, it's up to you where you're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? It's not up to anybody else. Why would you? Why would 
people are like, oh, you don't have a girlfriend? I haven't had a girlfriend in like six years. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and I don't regret that. I'm like, I'm like, fuck it. If I die lonely, this is what I chose. You know what I'm saying? And um, do you want a girlfriend? Not right now. I feel like I don't want to disrespect anybody. I don't want to make them feel not valued. You feel me? I feel like because I'm just so in in tune with this that I wouldn't have time for them. And I feel like that would be not a disrespect to them, but I just wouldn't have time for them. And I wouldn't want them to be like, like you know what I'm saying? Yo, you're not showing me no affection. It's like, bro, you don't know what I'm trying to do. Now, if a certain somebody came along and was like, I'm here for you 100%, I'll be like, shit, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's rock and roll. And that would be beautiful. That would be God sent. You know what I'm saying? That would only be, she has to be a, a woman that's has faith in the same things, has to be driven for certain things and and believe in herself, believe in God. And yeah, I mean, I think as I'm getting older, all that other, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff that. Fugazi shit. Yeah, it's, I have to, like, I like what, um, who said it? I forgot who said it. They said, oh, Mike Tyson said it. He said, you come, you come to the dance with God, make sure you leave with God because when you come to the dance with is like the devil wants to leave with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that and that only puts it in a perspective where it's just like there's gonna be so many distractions when we get to another level. Women, alcohol, drugs and all that drugs. stuff. And I want no part of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I have a big faith in God, myself, my family, and I want to keep them close to me as possible. And if a certain you know what I'm saying, uh woman came along the way and keep me even more grounded, I'd be like, shit, let's do it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That would be ideal. something ideal. But as of right now, I'm married to the game and yeah. I gave 100% to this and nothing else. I definitely con condemn you. Condone? Condemn? Condone? Condemn, I don't think it's the right word. Because condone? I don't know. What are you trying to say? <laughs> English I is not my first language. Yeah, English is not my first language. I always use that excuse. Condone. You always staying away from smoking and drinking and shit yeah because man i see a lot of these so-called fighters especially like in the gyms and shit and then they're like oh yeah like they still smoke and they still drink and you know what i mean especially in certain gyms out here in atlanta um that separates you from that separates level that makes levels to this shit you know what i mean yeah that's where you're on another level and and like i said i just wanted to con Damn you! Nah, I don't think it's condone. Condemn. Condone you? I don't nah. fucking know. I would just congratulate you. Yeah, I'm gonna use that word. Yeah, just use for that never word. sinking into that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and, and we uh, we're okay, gonna we we're have gonna... to open up the dictionary right <laughs> now. <laughs> but uh, dude, we're gonna we're gonna go watch Rocky now. Yeah, we're gonna go finish the Rocky movie, guys. So this weekend, I'm gonna drop this today. Wait, quick controversial opinion. What's up? Rocky is better than Creed. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's not controversial at all. Rocky is better than Creed. Creed. I haven't even watched Rocky three, and I already know it sucks. No, no, no Creed th Creed three. You said Rocky three. Oh, I said Rocky. Yeah. No, I haven't watched Creed Creed three, three. and I can tell it sucks. I'm well, not much well, of a wee person. Well, 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 Rocky. Rocky. Rocky has more of a story, man. The story that anybody can can correlate to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. a, a story that. It's kind of like Spider-Man. Not the new Spider-Man, but the older Spider-Man. The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Where he gets kicked. He's down. People are freaking kicking him in the face. He's down in the dumps, but he still has to put on the mask and be the superhero that he is. Yeah. Because that's who he is. That's what I love about the Rocky movies. The Creed movies, bro, he's a freaking rich kid. Just like, <laughs> what the heck? It makes no sense to me. It's just a selling point, to be honest. But, hey. If y'all like it and it inspires you to be a fighter or be a fan of the sport of boxing, then it did its job. If it inspires Thank you, to, Creed. If it inspires you to be a fighter of life, all for Like it. I said, I don't want to hate. I don't want to hate. But I'm just saying, my opinion is Rocky is better than Creed. Mm -hmm. I but, I mean, still watch a movie. Still watch a movie. I don't you know. Like, so do what you want. Do what you want. Go check it out. Don't check yeah. it out. But Rocky is forever golden. Yeah, Rocky is forever golden. The Creed movies, I want to go watch it. It was cool. It was just very like, I think they focused more on the cinematic aspect of it than the storyline because it was kind of, it was kind of, it was kind of goofy. I ain't gonna lie. 
Anyways, like, we about to get hit for that, but whatever. Nah, they'll be all right. No, we're not, man. They're gonna be all right. All right, let us know if Rocky is. Let us know. First of all, first of all, if you guys got this far into the podcast, if you're listening to this right now and heard what we just said, comment in the comment down below if you're if you're watching on YouTube, because then I'm gonna know. Rocky um, or Creed? Let Rocky or Creed? And um, why? Tell us why. Tell us why. I want to yeah. know why. Yeah, and y'all, if y'all see Creed, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But guys, we're about to go. Thank you so much for tuning in back to the Garden Podcast. Julio, you got any words to say? Uh, I just want to say this is an awesome podcast. Like I said, it's only the beginning of the Garden Podcast, best podcast in the world. Guys, I didn't know that you could watch it on Spotify, too. So you could actually watch it on Spotify, too. If y'all y'all go check it out on Spotify. This is fucking amazing. I feel like this is this is a great conversation that we've had today. Yes. Um, Thank you for having me. <laughs> Also, quick shout out to my sponsors for my fight. Payton's Pizza in Gainesville. The Stag in Gainesville, Club 27. And the Garden Podcast. Next time. They weren't able to be on my shorts, but next time. We're going to be on, on the shorts. shorts. Roland, Archie, and Jason. Shout out you guys. Shout out you guys. We're gonna, we, might, hey, we might have them on the podcast. So. Exactly. Yeah. Shout outs to my boys, AB Films. Rhoda. Rhoda and AB Films. Thank you guys so, so thank much. Thank you guys. Thank you. The team, Gauntlet's Boxing Team, is only up from here. Redemption year. Yeah, baby. We gonna, um, guys, remember, if you're listening to this on Spotify, leave us a five star. If you're l- listening and watching this on YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> we appreciate it. This is a big one. I really like this one. And uh, don't forget, guys, keep watering those plants. Plant your new seed today. Don't wait around and do it. Stay consistent. Do your thing. And uh we'll be back again soon. I got a couple guests lined up for the for the future. Got a, when Hulu when Hulu's next fight comes around, maybe we do another recap after his fight or maybe after a few fights. See how that's going on. And what time is it? Go mess time. Go mess time. I've been saying that shit so many damn times. <laughs> we're gonna get some <laughs> we're gonna get some merch with the with the clock and shit on it. Yeah. Alright, y'all. It's a wrap.